Hello everyone, welcome to Hukalo TV at uh, www.humancolony.org. Today is June 13th, 2015. This is the Saturday webinar. Um, today's guests of the webinar are Alexandra and Pakudan, Felipe, Hyann, Rowe, Johannes, Kim, Sean, Will, and myself have a couple of announcements. Uh, some events. The New Moon Holy Fire Manifestation event scheduled for Tuesday, June 16th at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Is that right, Will? That's in the morning? It is in the morning, but it's at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Thank you for that. So that we can coincide with the apex of the new moon at 10.05 Eastern. Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Thank you, Will. And um, that was the new moon holy fire manifestation event. Another event is the Crystal Healers of Gaia Summer Solstice event. That's scheduled for Sunday, June 21st at 5 p.m. Eastern Time everywhere. Um, the way uh, Sarah was going to do that is 5 p.m. your time zone anywhere in the world that you are. So when it's 5 p.m. in your time zone, that's when uh, the meditation is being requested. Um, the Close Encounters of the Eighth Kind event, an interactive online event, Saturday, June 20th from 12 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time, featuring Chris Teresa, Rob Gatier, Jim Charles. It's $30 for four hours of channeling, and tickets are available at www.trebchanneling.com slash events slash online. And details can also be found at humancolony.org. I'd like to take a moment to remind people that um, Human Colony um, uses donations to help um, fund its administrative things. Um, those details are located at the humancolony.org site. Um, if you can donate, please donate. Uh, those are all the announcements I have for right now. So I'm going to pass this over to Rowie. Rowie, if you are ready, mm -hmm. I will let you, let you do the rest. All right, see you guys. Thank you, Dan. That was beautiful. Thank you for the introduction. So I'd like a big warm welcome here today for obviously my special other half, who's um, taken a very big step of recent to make it to this special Saturday webinar that we were discussing on doing last week. So, Kim, my love, a big welcome to you today. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So, Kim, would you like to give a small introduction of yourself <laughs> and your, let's say, channeling experience that's led you to being here today on our Saturday webinar? Yes. Uh, about 14 months ago, I joined up with Hukalo. I was in search for a channeler um, to channel my daughter, who is in spirit. And I was lucky enough to stumble over uh, Jim, James Charles, the fantastic founder of Hukalo, along with Max. And I also uh, began to socialise amongst the community, the Hukalo community, and I was in awe. These people are amazing and full of love and gratitude. And I felt so welcomed and I soon learned I was able to understand some galactic languages and from there things just evolved relatively quickly for me. Um, and I'm blessed with the gift now of being able to channel and I enjoy it completely. <laughs> <clears throat> I get very much out of it and I'm so happy that these people that I love receive what they need also. Uh, it's a very special interaction. Um, so yes, I would just like to say thank you everyone who's here today. I, I feel your support. I thank you. 
um, and hopefully I can make this as enjoyable as Jim's webinars are. That's awesome. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Um, Kim's going to be channeling today. Um, so also we're going to have Safira coming in later on. So we're going to have to allow a little bit of space today for you for the people to join in later. Um, it's going to be more of a format today of like a radio show. So once you've asked your questions and you've done interacting, you had your little turn. I ask you to leave. Watch the rest of it on YouTube if you wouldn't mind. If you've got something you want to ask and the room's quiet and you want to come back in, just mention on the Hukolo chat, the Skype chat. We're watching them all. If also, if you need your question answered and you cannot attend, but you can just type for now, we're also allowing that to happen as well. So just ask your questions in the different chats that everybody knows about, Skype, Hukolo One, Hukolo New Members, any of those. We're watching them. So, Kim, how are you feeling? Very well, thank you. Good, good. I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest, I'm a little nervous, but I'll get part of that. <laughs> okay, well everyone can send you a lot of nice confidence energy to get you get you set up. Just want to give a big shout out to Jim, um, he's away obviously this weekend like Dan said. Also to Sabrina as well, um, who's off on her travels, adventures to Machu Picchu, so I know she needs lots of our energy to get there and do it, She's, it's a bit of a hard journey to get there. So. Give her a thought or two if you could. Um, always you're missed. And also to Max as well, who's also been doing some new interviews. So congratulations, Max, on that. We'd love to see you um, diversify and bring all these amazing things like Reiki and healing to the, you know, just the message to the populace. So thank you very much. There. So Kim, do you actually do requests with your channeling? Not, no, not as a general rule, no. I tend to have a group that I draw on. Um, anything is possible. This is uh, a new surroundings for me. Um, mm -hmm. So <laughs> anything is possible. I feel as if Almatok will be the introductory being, um, possibly to Pia. Uh, but yes, I'm seeing there's some requests coming up. Thank you for that. Um, if possible, and I sense them, I will allow it. Um, so, really, it's up to them. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, if you want to get yourself ready, um, start to do your little process, and um, we'll allow whoever wants to come through first, and um, we'll go up from there. We'll probably do about half hour, 40, 45 minutes first, and then give you a little break, okay? Okay. Okay, baby, take it away. Greetings, Earthians, Welcome. many Earthians. This is Almatok. Greetings, Almatok. Thank you so much for letting coming through today. Um, it's a pleasure to have you as always. I know we only had a chat a few nights ago, but I want to welcome you to the Hukolo webinar this Saturday. Um, we are having a, an unusual webinar today, as you're probably aware of. It's not our regular thing, so uh, we have yeah. lots of people here wanting to ask questions, interact with you. But first, I would like to ask if you have anything you want to say, an introduction, or anything you want to share with us, impart with us, um, please feel free to do so. Certainly. There is something that does come to mind very quickly. I would like to address the wondrous being we know as Jakur. Now I understand this is a, for, a public forum where her message may reach far and wide. Now I wish my message to reach this far and wide also. Jakur has touched many lives. 
She is a constant visitor amongst the Hukaloo community. I doubt there is one such member who has not come into contact with the curb at some point. For this very reason, I would like to point out with much love and gratitude, as often as I am able and given opportunity to this wondrous being we know as Takur. She has been incredibly active, far more than you perhaps would realise in realising the dreams and hopes and desires of alien lives interacting with human ones. She has created a love for our human colonies held amongst Gurkvik now. She is very active in the meetings of the Great Assembly. She is very active in the meetings of the governments of your countries. She has moved and elevated your wishes forward at a speed which you would possibly not believe. So I would ask you, please, on opportunity and when you are in private session, should she be one to visit and greet you, please, I request that you give true and deep thanks and gratitude. Also, to others of Gurkvik now, who you may come across as you journey through Hugo. But yes, most definitely, the wonderful Takur, I ask you all as you lay your heads on your pillows this evening and as often as you may remember as you lay your head on your pillows in every evening, send her thanks. Please as well if you have hybrid children that she is active in their well-being, in their directive of growth, please send your hybrid children by name your message of love. Also I ask you please reach out to the parents of your hybrid children. There are concerns amongst the colonies, there are concerns amongst the colonies through the Galacti where this same purpose is being aimed for. There is concern as I said amongst the parents, the alien parents, as our human hybridized children grow and become individuals and show very human sides of themselves. This at times may lead to confusion, it may lead to misbehavior and this is foreign. So there is a request that has been made and has also been mentioned by myself throughout this coming week as we approach today. Be mindful that there are parents that are rearing your hybrid children. They would be grateful for any advice you may impart if you are able to learn the names of the alien parents. If you have been blessed with that then please use them. If you have not, it is absolutely fine. Address them as the parent of your hybrid child's name that you did introduce to me. Please keep an open dialogue if you possibly can. If you listen in your quiet time with your head on your pillow and you send a message, allow approximately five to seven minutes and you may well receive a reply, a question, a request for further elaboration, please do so, please do so. This is a true coming together of alien and human worlds. May we rear these children together 
we may make them greater than even we first, first thought, simply through co-parenting. So I would like to simply bring this to your awareness. And thank you for taking heed and thank you in advance for your communications with the wonderful alien parents of our wondrous hybrid children. Thank you. Thank you for that message, Anatol. You're welcome. We are open to having people interact today. So if you want to interact with Alma Talk um, in the next half an hour to 40 minutes, please um, do so in, and say so in the Hukolo chat and we can invite you in. But I would like to open up the, uh, the floor to the people in the room today. So if you, does anybody have any questions for Alma Talk? Please um, unmute and interact if you wish. Anybody? Okay. Okay, I'll I'll ask a question. <laughs> Hello, okay. Alma Talk. This is this is Guru Dan. Guru Dan. Hello. Hello. Hi. I have a question about my role with the hybrid children. Am I am I one of the DNA participants or am I some other kind of role? Because I'm told that I play with them quite a bit. They like to play with me. They like to crawl on me or something. That's what I was told. I was wondering what my role uh, with the children in the colony is. Yes, you would be precise in that. At this point in time, you have not offered your DNA. For you to have hybridized children, then it is something that you must give permission for. That there is permission from you for your DNA to be taken to create your hybrid child. The fact that you do not have one at this point does not make you any less important. You have an ability, especially around, amongst the group the age of 4 to 10 years old. You are very relatable to these children. They look to you as an analogy that I would use with great fondness, as your, what you call, Father Christmas. You bring with you a magic when you visit the colonies. You bring with you a wonderful way that you interact with your language and you are very kinesthetic. You do touch the children. The children have come to be very excited when they are aware you are to return. There is one thing at this point that I think may help the children a little more. If your visitations could be made on a regular basis. At the moment, they happen as things simply fall into place. May I ask that you make a little more effort and put aside some of your time that you allocate to the hybrid children. Now, the amount of time, of course, is entirely up to you and when and if you do so, it will be heard. So, okay. yes, you are interacting with the children and understand your interactions are wonderful. You bring joy to the parents also. So you are greeted always. Okay, Perhaps good. Perhaps I okay. will relay the idea of what Father Christmas is to them, and they may resonate with that. Okay. I, well, the other day during a quiet moment, I was kind of, when I was thinking about them, I just kind of got like the Godfather kind of idea popped in my head. I'm kind of like the one that just kind of is designated to kind of hang out and be around just because I can, I guess. Yes. Anyway, so it was kind of a fun idea, so I was kind of going with that a little bit. Yes, I like the Godfather. You may even be Uncle Dan. Yeah, Uncle Dan. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Alma Talk. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, Sean. Um, hello, I'm Alma Talk. I just want to uh, thank you from the very bottom of my heart for coming here today, and I also want to say I love you from the deepest of my essence, and I uh, love you so much. I have a sister that's in Uclo. I want uh, to know 
if uh, she has any messages for her, and her name's Carissa. Ah, Carissa? Yes. Ah, yes. I'm familiar with Carissa. Messages for Carissa. Yes, please advise her that I will be getting in touch with her personally myself. I do believe her situation at this time is not something that should really be shared publicly. So I respect that. I would also say to you with much fondness, Sean, your light, my friend, it has been said many times. It has also been an analogy made in what you call your pseudo name as the shiny dude. <laughs> you most definitely are. You are growing at a great rate, young man. Understand that we are observing this. You do have a role to play, an important role to play in the very near future. You are playing one right now. It is a preparation for the one that will come to you in the further now. Have faith, my dear friend. Stay on your path. Embrace your expression as you have. Understand the vibration as you do, for it is perfect. I acknowledge you, young Sean. You are a great demonstration. You are a great leader through demonstration. Thank you, Sean. Namaste. No, it's... Namaste. Okay, Johannes, you have a friend or you want to introduce yourself? Or? Hello, I'm Jan. Do you hear me? Really? Yes, I do. Uh, I have a question. Uh, my English is really bad, so I, I try to ask. I there is a little gray alien, which is following me since days. Who is him? He's not the Jamie, other. He, he, for a long he's time. Not the other ones. I'm sorry, I spoke over you. Do you mean he's been following you for a long time? Uh, since days. Since days, many days. Yes. And further your question, please repeat. Who is him? What does he want? <laughs> oh, my friend. He means you no harm. Do you find uh, him annoying? Do you find it irritating that he is around you? No. Ah, wonderful. Then if you both enjoy it, Please continue the relationship. You are building a relationship with an individual of a species at this time. There is purpose in this also. You will have more contact with other, other members of this entity species. It will broaden. Your role will be one of teacher eventually. However, right now at this moment, this small being finds you very attractive in the sense that your personalities resonate. So I say to you, enjoy the interaction. Look towards what will come to you if you choose to agree with that. Now, if you find this being to be some form of irritation to you, then please request with respect that he return to his family, to his species, to his ship or his planet. He will do so. It is your choice. I wish you much joy. Thank you. Uh, one question, is there any message for Johannes? Yes. Yes. I have a message. And I do believe that it is for you. There is a very direct path. You will feel you will find yourself being guided. I draw you a path such as this. It is not strictly a harsh zigzag. It is a bend and a swerve. An event of quite pleasurable movement. Now amongst these movements you will have what are known as defining moments. 
moments that will define, moments that will be crossroads, moments where you will be at a point to make a very important decision. When you reach these points, I ask you, my friend, please sit with yourself, remain peaceful, quiet, and look within yourself. Now, I speak often of vibration and frequency. Understand, and I will repeat this for those who do not know, that we each are beings made up of frequency, light, and vibration. Now, I ask you, please take some time to further understand what your vibration and frequency is to you. Now, since you have this young friend that is joining you, that identifies to me that you are familiar with the separation, it is illusional. However, for the purpose of this description, there is a form of separation between yourself and this being. So you are aware of what your own frequency is. So at these times, these crossroads in your life, I wish you to view them very carefully. They may seem obvious decisions to you. You will sense, however, that perhaps there is something more important going on. Your sense will be correct. So I would ask you to sit with yourself. Once more, I will repeat, become familiar, identify your own individual vibration. And then give some thought by many perspectives of the choices that you are posed with at those points in time. I ask you, please, choose the path of least resistance. Choose the path that you may foresee will be the easier journey for you to reach whatever your destination is. Be mindful, the journey is the point. The destination, once you reach it, there will become another. So you are fast approaching. You are fast evolving. You are quickly moving. In these times, please slow down. Please look within. Please speak to yourself. Speak to your subconscious. Speak to your unconscious. Speak to your spirit realm. Speak to the aliens who obviously are around you. If there are others involved in this decision-making process, then please ask that their spirit realm be involved also in the decision that you must make for yourself. You are able to enroll the spirit realms of other beings if you are co-creating. Please understand that. I wish to share that with everybody. They will interact and at times of joining, of permanence, they may move. They may choose to move on for they are no longer needed. You may also draw others in. There's a part of your very specific spirit group and these are all agreements that have been made before you arrived. Now, because you have free will and in your moments where you are going to meet your crossroads and you look to your spirit realm for guidance and yourself, understand you may enroll the spiritual realm of others around you by request and if you feel you are able to share with the being, the human that you are working with in making these decisions, Request together that your spirit realm interact. This will make your decision process much easier, especially since you are able to, un able to identify your own vibration. I've been elaborate in my question. Uh, I hope I have made it clear. And I wish you much joy and fun, for you will find it on your journey. Thank you, Amatop. Um, I think uh, Hayan next. Hello, Hayan. Uh, I 
think he might be experiencing some microphone problems. Um, Almatok, are you able to answer questions about people's hybrid children? I will. At this time, no. Uh, okay. Um, there was a Sober, question. I will, yes. Okay. All right, because I wasn't sure there were people asking in the chat room about information on their hybrid children, but I was not. Of course. I understand the curiosity, most definitely. At the moment, this is the role of Takur. And this is absolutely appropriate. I will support Takur where I can. She is the one that is most informed about the hybrid children. The effort I have been making amongst Gopik Nia and her at the moment is to enroll other beings around her so that she may delegate her responsibilities a little further and free herself up for some time doing things that she loves to do, one of those being coming to Hugelo. She would prefer to come to Hugelo clear-minded and with accurate information. And frequently, she knows she is much loved. So there is an effort being made at the moment around to her to delegate that which she actually will delegate to others that she trusts, to others that she believes, understands the human state as she has worked so hard on understanding this, and others who are feeling the bond that the children are resonating with as she comes to realize that, she will be happier to allow others to interact a bit more in all her responsibilities and she will have more time to be here for your questions about your hybrid children. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, hi, Anne. Would you like to try your microphone once again? Mm, okay. It seems like... We're having some problems there. Sure, I believe you were next. So if you're ready to ask Almatok a question. Yes. Um, hello, Almatok. Greetings. Greetings. Um, I have two short questions. The first yeah. one is about uh, a certain course that I'm going to uh, take uh, in two weeks. It's called Prana. If you maybe have yeah. a message for me about it. It will be a smooth journey and process. Really? It's supposed to be yes. very difficult, but wow. No, you will not find it as difficult as you are expecting. Wow, okay, thank you. That's <laughs> that's excellent. Um, the You're second welcome. question is um, I just found out that I'm related to a bin named Ramlock, um, from my understanding, is very known in the galaxy universe. Maybe you can expand Ram on that. Ramrock. Ramlock, something of that nature. Ramlock. Yes. Ah, Ramlock. Ramlock. I think. Yes. Yes. That there most definitely is a being that is quite well known. But he goes by the name of Remlak. Okay. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Ah, this be fine. He will understand that. <laughs> yes. Uh, he is around you at this time simply out of curiosity. He enjoys yeah. your lifestyle. He's learning. You're yeah. actually quite blessed my friend, yes, <laughs> that he has chosen to come to you and explore your world a little, yes. He will Trust. take what he learns from you and he will hold it close to his heart, for well, that is the kind of being that he is. Remlak, my friend, please call on him as Remlak. Remlak, okay. Yes. Um, yes. From my understanding he was um, my father in maybe one of my first reincarnation because he's um, apparently very, very, very old or something of that nature. He's like yes. In human terms, yes. Hmm. Will yes. I be able to communicate with him in the future? You may communicate with him right now. 
Really? <laughs> if you set the intention and you may psychically contact him. I said earlier, if you were to reach out to a being mm -hmm. and address them by name, if you allow five to seven minutes and yes. maintain yourself in a quiet space, you may receive a, uh, if you've asked a question, an answer. If you simply reached out, you may receive an, a greeting. Mm. It is a nice gesture if you were to greet each other in that sense. Mm. But again, you would need to be in a state of what you perhaps would call meditation for a period of five to seven minutes after you send your communication to him. Have absolute trust and faith that he knows you and that you know him for your vibrations are individual and they are attracted to each other at this time for a relevant reason. So yes, if you would like to speak with him, address him by name, give it those moments and have your conversation. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, this is Hayan. Do you hear me? Ah, yes, we hear you now, Hayan. A little quiet. I'll turn you up. Okay, good. So, hello, Armatak. Hello, Hayan. I would like to ask a little bit about you. We know, mm -hmm. I think we know very well about, about you. We know oh, that I'm not hearing you very well. well. Uh, my apologies, like know, I'm not hearing you. Yes, I would like to know know a little bit about you. Yes. Yes, I know that you are in Gershiknir. Ah, I am not. I'm not in Gershiknir. However, my friend, I do act as an intermediary, as an advisor, as counsel. Yes. I move further further beyond the realms than just Gokvignir. So Gokvignir is close to my source and heart. Okay, okay. Was there further question? Yeah, what uh, dimension are you in? Hmm. Yes. My friend, I tell you this. I do not wish to cause a hierarchical situation. For the sake of explanation, I will say this to you. I am the twelfth dimension of the third realm. This is where I reside and it is a leap away from source. Okay. I, I have um, strong connections to the bird species. The bird species? Yeah. Yes. Uh, can you help me a little bit more to tell me a little bit more about them? Yes. In your in your lifetime, birds, I may I liken it to you uh, with an analogy of the elementals. The elementals being those that Caitlin speaks about, they can be mischievous and they are fun. However, the birds behave this way in your realm. Now, if you were to actually journal or diarize your experiences with the birds, I am not sure how familiar you are with species of the birds. But if you were to diarize the events when you are most to notice them and you feel that they are reaching out to communicate with you, I believe you would come to a very clear understanding of the role that you play in their lifetimes and vice versa. This is a dual relationship, my friend. It is a lovely way to communicate with nature, to communicate with another species. So if you wish to investigate further, then yes, please take my advice. If not, and you just wish to enjoy the experience,
then please continue and know and understand that it is special as you feel. Okay, wonderful. I will, definitely. I have a question from Maria, Maria Shambhala. Yes. She hit the message the other day about her lion looking a feline guide and there's a deep connection with them and uh, she would like to know a little bit more about that. Uh, may I just clarify something? I'm not hearing you very well, Hayan. Um, is uh, Maria, she feels she has a connection to a feline energy, a lion energy, and she would like to know more. Is this correct? Yes, a guide to her. Ah, a guide. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. I would be very interested in Maria Shambhala in having her astrological chart drawn up for her. I am speaking in the sense that it is exact. Exact in time, exact in place, exact in date. And time put in to actually build this astrological chart. Now, an effective astrological chart, it can be done via computer technology. I do not recommend this, however. I feel that the interpersonal reaction of the being, the human, that is creating the chart also imparts pieces of themselves and receives pieces of the person that they are doing the chart for. I would suggest perhaps yes they are in a guide-like position in her astrological chart. They also represent of course Leo. My feeling is that she has a strong relationship at somewhere, some in her astrological chart, perhaps even as her rising sign, that is she has a Leo influence. She is if she's having a experience of visual interaction with these lions at this time, then I would say that she is being called upon to draw on courage. She's being called upon to draw on loyalty. She's being called upon to draw on strength. Now, if she was to actually visit on your internet a very uh, clearly identified definition of the idea of what the Leo astrological sign represents and look into this, look into it further. She will find something in there that resonates. I believe it may even be that her moon is in Leo. If she does know somebody who is willing to do a chart for her on a personal level, an astrological chart, and I will tell you this, it takes hours to create one. If she wishes, and there are people around who will do this, it is their business, then I suggest that she would have this chart done. This chart would bring her understanding with the relationship she has with the feline entities, the lions, that she's experienced at this time. Please reassure her that she does not need to be scared or feel offended. It is simply another aspect that she is drawing on of herself that she needs at this time. Please convey that to her. Okay, that will be conveyed. Hyans dropped to give space on the top for other people to join. Um, sure. So uh, we have um, Gabriel and Alex next who want to ask questions. Uh, who would like to ask first? I don't hear Alex. Go ahead, Gabriel. 
Yeah, uh, I I wonder if you have any messages for me, Amutakin. It's nice first time me speaking to you, and I wonder if you also share some energies to me when you first came. Ah, did you did you ask energies? Have I shared energies with you? Yes. Yes. Yes, Gabriel, I am aware of you, of course. You are a very active member amongst the wonderful Hugo. I also believe you can be at times a little mischievous. And this is a wonderful thing you bring to the group. The message I would say to you, Gabriel, is for you to t actually embrace and appreciate the lifestyle that you live. Yeah. I would truly like you to take a moment and sit back in your world, look around you and feel what you are blessed with. Life has been generous to you and you deserve this. So I would just ask you to appreciate it, thank the universe, the universes the multiverses, for the greatness that has been brought to your life, for the life that you chose to be born into. So the message I would say to you, my friend, is be grateful and appreciate and share the love and share the feedback. Thank you. Thank you. They are words that resonate powerfully. Please say thank you. That is all. Okay, Alex, are you there to ask a question? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm a talk. Hello, Alex. Alex. Yes, I can. Oh, I love you and thank you so much for being here and I've applied everything that you had um, when we last talked. It's been over a month yes. and uh, I took I took um, your advice completely and, and I applied it. I became an earthling <laughs> more. Um, just thank you for the love because when I when I um, when I was in my worst moments you were there for me and I I totally love and appreciate everything you are. So thank you for that. No. Uh, I have three friend. questions for you. Um, yeah. And I wanted to see if you could shed some light uh, and help me understand. Um, recently, I have been, I have not done a lot of meditating, but the few times that I have, I've uh, meditated with this um, person here in our group, Sarah, and she's done yeah. some uh, tuning. And the couple of times that we've done tuning, um, I go inwards in my body. Um, like, for instance, I see vibration and I see the, the meridian lines uh, more prominent, uh, the interior of our body. And then I, last, yesterday I went into the chakras and I spent inside the chakras and I saw like different layers and dimensions. and. This has happened twice so far, and that's uh, very unusual for me because I go into uh, spaces where I've never seen before. Um, mm -hmm. So I kind of want to know what is that about. Um, I'm not sure if I understand it quite well yet. Yes. It is about the healing of you. It is about the healing of your spirit. It is about you reconnecting to source. So this is actually the side of life that is still supporting you that you may perhaps thought you had lost. Mm -hmm. Embrace these experiences for they are bringing to you peace. So please do not be concerned as long as this is not interfering with your 3D responsibilities at this point in time then I say to you embrace this and allow it to become a healing, a support for you at this time which is very important mm -hmm. and I would also like to remind you that you are very much loved. Okay. There is an abundance 
of realm of entourage that stand beside you in your journey at this time. It is safe. It is safe enough for you to allow these gifts that you experience, that you describe to me, allow them to be and receive them with thanks. You are safe, my friend. I don't feel safe and I feel like you know, all my guides have abandoned me. I don't yeah. see them or hear them as much anymore because yeah. I'm trying to get used to this three three D dimension that I'm that they pretty much forced me to be in. So it's kind of lonely not to have my gifts and be able yeah. to see them and talk to them like before. Of course, I feel your tears, my friend. Please know you have not been abandoned. Far from it. You are receiving a silent form of support, not a vocal one as you are used to. Silence is, however, a very powerful thing. You do not need to hear the words, for now you need to know the do. You understand that and you are doing. Be proud of you. I am proud of you. Your spirit realm is proud of you. You are greatly loved. Hug yourself. My friend, you deserve it. Thank you. And my um my other question would be, um, what is my role in the colony? Because I've never really got to ask that. Um, I know I've been there many times and hear them talk and I don't even understand their language, but somehow I, they talk to me. I just don't know what's the point of all of it. Ah. I understand you feel pointless. There is a point, my friend. You are precious in what you have to offer. You are the greatness, the greatness that we all are. You are full of source and vibration and purpose. All will return to you. All will make sense. And you knew that. Now, I say this to you gently. In recent times, your visits to the colonies have been a little less because you have needed your resources to deal with your day to day. They have not stopped, however, at your request. Please remember this. You have not stopped visiting with the colonies because you requested to keep on visiting. You are being heard. You are actually being healed when you visit the colonies in a spiritual way. You are aware, as you spoke of, of your meridians, your chakras, your energy. This is new to you. This is an idea that may very well be something that you are practicing up in the colonies. Ah, yes, I am being told yes. That is where these ideas are coming from. You have been guided towards the hangouts that the lovely Sarah holds for a very special purpose. It brings you healing. It keeps you in touch with your support system within Hugolo and those you resonate with. And also it keeps you in touch with the idea that yes, you do still have a realm that cares for you very much. The only difference at this point in time is you are identifying the realm of the alien colonies. Now this is all you may hear. Do not feel you have to grasp that like it is all you have. There is no need. There is no need for you to grasp at anything. I would say to you, please let it go. Let it be what it needs to be. Let you be the beauty 
that you need to be. Unison will return for you. Alex, dear friend, I feel your tears. Please allow me to in this now. Please allow me to share with you the wonderment of your being filled with the ultimate light that is source. Allow this to embrace you. You forever have access to this. You forever have access. You forever have access. Access. You will achieve, my friend. It will come. Be patient and be kind to yourself. I'm trying. Thank you. You are doing wonderfully, Alex. Much love. I just love to you. Thank you. Thank you. I will speak to you more further. Thank you, Alex. It's <laughs> very brave of you to come and do such uh, work on your inner self in the public forum. You really deserve a big pat on the back. I'm sure you're helping a lot of other people by doing that as well. So just by doing that, you're serving humanity in a greater way. So we really appreciate that. And if you need anyone else to talk to as well, we're all there for you. And Believe me, you just got a massive jolt of energy sent your way as well. So please feel that bliss. So I believe we have more questions for you, Alma Tot. Um, I just first want to ask, how are you doing and how is Kim? Hmm. I believe uh, she may need something to quench her thirst. May I take a moment? Please do, sir. I will need to come and bring her back partially. Uh huh, sure. And Alex, please stay with us today. Uh, I would like that very much, and so would Kim. Yes. Thank you very much, Rui. You're welcome. Ah. Is there any more questions? Yes, hello. I have a similar topic as the previous. It's okay. Can uh, I go on? Please do, Jasmina. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, well, I had some uh, dark moments today and yesterday, and I did some deep meditations, <clears throat> um, and uh, now it feels like uh, a little bit of like a time after. So I would like to hear your input if you are able to do that. Thank yes, I'm. I'm just not sure of your question. Uh, <laughs> please, please correct me. You have felt some darkness within your last day or two. Yes. Yeah, dark moments today and yesterday. <laughs> have some shadow work to do and. Yes. And you are you are looking for some information from me, or there was more specific questions. Well, I don't know if I can go any more spe specific, but um, I'm wondering if you can somehow connect with me and maybe tell me some information on that. Yes. Yes. May well, I ask you if you have any messages or something like that for me? Yes. <coughs> yes. May I ask you, please, I understand the language. I understand the idea that you use the language of darkness. I understand that it feels as if you need shadow work. 
I would like you to look at these situations perhaps a little differently. As humans in Hugo and in many other groups, light and vibration is well known, the way they function. Now, darkness and shadow, they are not necessarily something that is what you would think is a bad thing. You may have a negative reaction because you do believe they are a bad thing. I ask you to please use these reflections that are being shown to you these times and ask yourself, is there light in this? Perhaps view it differently, as if you would turn a mirror around and see the flip side. I am sure you will find there is, in those moments, what you as humans would call a silver lining. Especially when events of darkness continue, they become a pattern there is definitely something in that case where there is something that needs to be addressed. In this instance, I feel for you embracing the conflict would be the most effective way for you to deal with this. Now I am not saying that if your dark moments are also the moments that a being you feel served upon you by another human. I'm asking you to look to you, not to look what you believe the cause to be of bringing you your dark moments. I give you much credit, my friend, for you have recognised so you use the word shadow work, you have recognised with such wisdom and insight that there is a lesson there here for you. Even in the dark there is love. Some of the greatest love is made in the dark. So please understand this could be a opportunity for you to turn it into something that is positive and something that you may move forward from with confidence. Confidence in your ability to understand who you are, to understand your frequency, to understand the greatness that is you. This is very special. I honour you, my friend. Your self-responsibility is a wonderful example. Please, simply look to what you call the dark and flip the mirror around. Look at it from many different angles. There will be a silver lining. Do you require further? Sorry? Do you require further elaboration? Um, that was quite enough. <laughs> Thank you. That was good. Um, I would also like to ask, I'm having something uh, on Saturday, um, some event. How will, How is this going to go? Mm. I sense your concern about this event. It does seem to be very much a human trait that a reality is created in advance in your future and where you look to identify you are having emotional responses to the idea that this could be a risky business. Yes, there may well be challenges, but they may be challenges that will bring you great joy. Now I ask you, 
as a manifester, as one with the insight of those in Hukuo, as one with the perfection and mastery of manifestation to spend some time looking forward to this event that you are feeling some concern about and envision it being something great for you, something perfect, something wonderful, something magical, a miracle. This is very possible. You may come away with a perception that you thought prior you may not in what you call a million years have thought would happen. So please use your manifestation techniques to create, to create yourself a positive experience. And again, I will say to you, if you do experience something that you call darkness, shine the light on it. Use your mirror and view it. Understand after the experience what is appropriate to let go and what is appropriate to learn from and what is there to celebrate. Please look to it that way. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Um, is there any more questions for our talk? I think Mary. Could I go? Yeah. Please do so. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Um, so I guess I have two questions if that's okay. Um, yeah. One is that um, I found Hula, um, the whole group, uh, about a year ago, and I've been primarily a silent. Um, participant um, and I'm starting to feel like I need to do more with the group. I was curious if you pick up on what it is I should do or how I should help. Yes, yes my friend. You have been an active observer. You have learned much. I sense in your voice actually several abilities. I'm actually wondering why it is you do not look to yourself and recognize them. I would say to you, without boundaries, look to Hukulo as being a limitless experience. Allow yourself to be introduced into the specific hangouts that you resonate with, for example, the one with Will, known as Will, is upcoming, I feel would be very helpful to you. Always, there are Sarah's regular hangouts and there are other events that go on too that are just as important. I would say to you also too, when you log on to Hugo if you feel drawn to chat and communicate with people, to make yourself public as you are doing wonderfully now, this is a wonderful step. Believe in yourself. Become active and become interactive. You are already retrospective. You are feeling that it is time to step out. It is time, my friends. It is your time. You will find very quickly that you have many gifts. Please embrace them. Enjoy them. Okay. Let yourself be you. Um, and then to kind of add to that, the second part of my question, um, because I do feel my gifts but I don't feel support from those around me, like my family. Yes. So my question is um, how to deal with people who don't believe 
Yeah. Um, because one of my energies is being empathic and it's hard to uh, handle the negativity. Absolutely. So how, Absolutely. To, how to protect myself from that? I understand, yes. Sorry, I didn't think I... <laughs> Excuse me. May I share this with you? First of all, embrace the idea that you are empathic. This is a gift. This is something that you have come to understand about yourself. This is something that is precious to who you are. It is also something that helps you define who you are. Now, you also have an auric field. The families, the members of the family around you also have auric fields. I feel as if your auric fields are that that is in conflict. Yes, there is word and intention behind it, but it is the auric fields. This is not something that is impossible to, to look beyond. The other thing, understanding that each individual is connected to the ultimate that is source. The vibration that resides within the frequency, the colour, the hues of the individual also equates to the individual journey and the individual lesson area required of you in your incarnation at this time. Now you are being presented with a conflict. I understand being empathic that those you love and you sense are in fact rejecting you and your belief system is a painful one. You do remain joined in source. However, you may take a step back from this situation and ask yourself, is it appropriate? Does it serve you? to share your involvement, to share your beliefs in a verbal way with the rest of your family. Is it something that you are coming to understand that for this period in your life it serves you more to keep these ideas within yourself, to keep your abilities within yourself? Do not discuss them with those that may not be believers. Also, please appreciate their lessonary, their learning, their journey is going to be individual for them also. It may not involve anything remotely close to the idea of Hugo that you resonate with. It is your journey and your destiny. It is your mastery. You are simply being offered the option on the journey that you are going to take with the idea of your empathic abilities and allow them to grow. Look towards the idea of allowing your empathic abilities and others you may find along the way to grow and to blossom. Now which journey must you take to allow that? This is a question that I believe you need to ask yourself rhetorically. Look to where you feel safe in reflection of you. It is okay. <coughs> Excuse me. It is okay for you to feel a slight separation from the rest of your family. And if this is something that you are not used to, if this is something you feel that is a new kind of rejection in your life, then yes, it is something that has come to a point that you need to address. But I will share with you and I will ask with you to be kind and gentle on yourself. 
You may not be receiving that from the other members of your family. But the importance is that, that you bestow upon yourself. So have a plan, my friend. Look to your choice of journeys here. If you do not need to share your empathic energies, your ideas and your other skills with the rest of your family, then do not. This may be a separation that was necessary in the agreement that you came into this lifetime with. Please consider that also. You may still love. You are connected by source. You may still have love and have a co-creational, very equal love for each other. If you can demonstrate the acceptance that different belief systems do not have to affect the variance of love. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you very much. You're welcome. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, Will? Or Philippe? Um, I don't know if uh, Will had a question. So he can go ahead if he wants. No, mine was answered, so I'm going to make room for other people. So, namaste. Gratitude to you, Maltec. Thank you for working with me. Namaste, Will. Much love. Felipe? Okay. Um, yes. Hello, Sabrina. And hello, Almatuk. Um I first uh, wanted to start sending you much love and appreciation for this interaction. All the information you always give is mind-blowing and is full of light, so many, many thanks. You're welcome, my friend. Your light shines bright also. Thank you. I also wanted to, um, I guess, officially give you per permission to connect more with myself and visit uh, me more often. Ah. Lovely, thank you very much for the invitation. I appreciate that. No problem. Um, I just have a few question uh, questions. I've I've wondered about a birthmark on my left arm and what connection uh, do I have with that um, birthmark? And I also wanted to ask if there was any connection with myself and the Andromedans, and if there was any message from my spirit guides. Ah, many questions. <laughs> May I ask you to break them down, please? The first one was with regard to your birthmark, yeah? Yes. Is this something you have found to be genetic in your life? Do other members of your family experience the same birthmark? Um, no, not that I know. Yes. Okay, I would say to you, my dear friend, this is actually an identifying mark on your body. It's actually one that you've carried through past lifetimes. I feel there is some sense of amusement around it. I'm not sure that when you look at it, it actually makes you feel humorous. But I do sense that there is some levity around the idea of the birthmark. It is significant in that it has been present on your body in past lives. It may even be uh, the leftover cell memory of some kind of wound. It will be actually something that if you are to further incarnate, it may even follow you. It may even disappear. I do not feel it is something to be bothered by. I feel very strongly it is something that you would do well to find humour in. Now, may I ask, what was the second question? Thank you very much for the answer. That was very cool. Thank you. Uh, the question, the second question is, do I have any connection with the Andromedans? We, we is as in yourself? Yes. 
my friends, we have many connections with many beings and many entities. If you take into account that the galaxies are endless, that the multiverse is endless, that there is infinity, the answer to your question of course is yes. You have incarnated in many lives. Everybody in Hukulo, interestingly enough, has incarnated in many, many, many lives and have come to Hukulo to complete agreements. This is very powerful. Now, yes, you have used the word Andromedans. Yes, there are many, many, some that you do not even know as yet and will come to as you move further forward. But the complexity of the universe and how it works and who and when was on this earth and how this earth was created, etc., etc. Earth is a young planet. So, yes, Andromedans and a million more. Of course, if you can understand the concept of source, if you can understand the concept of infinity, then you can understand the concept that you have been in contact with every kind of being, every kind of entity that there is in existence. Wow, thank you so much. That was mind blowing. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, then the last question would be Is there any messages from my spirit guides or any messages for myself in general? Yes, I am also experiencing levity here as well. I feel you are at a light, a light time in your life. You are also vibrationally bright. This is lovely, Felipe. It really is quite stunning. I would say to you that your spirit guides and your higher self at this time, they are very happy for you are following your path of least resistance. This is bringing you joy and it's bringing you peace. It's also bringing you the ability to look towards yourself and understand you and be happy with who you are and be happy with how you move forward. Is a wonderful demonstration of leadership, Felipe. I encourage you to stay on this path. Bless you, my friend. Many blessings to you, Almatak. Much love. Thank you so much. Much love, my friend. Okay, I believe Harris is up next. Harris. Hey, Almatak. Hello. Hello. How are you, Harris? Oh, I'm doing great. Wow, this is a this is an honor to connect with with you this way. Wow, wow. I, I want to say thank you. Uh, a lot of gratitude, a lot of love. Thank you so much for connecting to me um, in the past and now. And you know, I I do feel you sometimes, and that it is always wonderful. You know, to have that, and please do continue. It's 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 a it's a lot of fun, and um, the appreciation is so much for everything that you're doing for all of us. Um, and I I want to I I will continue to learn from all of you, and as a lot of people also continue to learn from me, I am enjoying this ride. I just wanted to speak to you in this way. It's so you know exciting for me to do this. So thank you so much. Oh, my dear friend, what a gesture of love. I thank you so much. May I reflect it back to you. You are a precious being. Enjoy your journey, dear one. You are on a great journey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is it for me. Until the next now. <laughs> yes, right. until we meet again. <laughs> All right. Stay blessed. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, Sean. Uh, hello, uh, I'm going to talk again. Uh, I just want to say uh, I love you so much. You're amazing, you are. Uh, thanks for joining us. 
Um, I I kind of have two questions. One is, is there any general message for Wendy Wolf? Ah, yes. I would like to wish for Wendy much support at this time. Would you please convey to her that I have been present around her at certain periods recently? Please convey to her that she is being well cared for and so are those that she loves. Please convey that she will make decisions well. She is pacing herself. She is not rushing into making decisions. She is looking at all perceptions of a very complicated situation. Please convey this is appreciated very much, that this is part of her agreement. And she does know that. Now she has been, and I do not enjoy using this word, but for the sake of this example, she has been victimized. Now many times when somebody identifies themselves as a victim, they may very often switch to become the perpetrator. In this instance, Wendy has not chosen to become the perpetrator nor the victim. She has chosen to become an informed, awakened and congruently aligned, spiritually embraced being. So I encourage her with her stealth, with her balance, to look to the big picture as she is and I would say to her now is the time to address the smaller pictures. Does that answer the question, Jill? Yes, uh, thank you. And the second part of my question is Lately, uh, I'm actually thankful that I'm actually having these dreams because I never in the past experienced so many dreams. But I've noticed that the dreams have been of a, um, what a third dimensional human would call negative nature, except I don't perceive these as negative. Uh, although after I do wake up from these dreams, I'm like, well, why am I having these dreams? Like, they're supposed to be negative, but I'm not interpreting them as negative. But if you asked anyone else, they would say it's negative. I'm just... Yes. yes, I understand. It is about the vibration that is behind what you feel about the dreams. So if you are not associating these dreams with something being negative to you, and others are telling you that it is a negative thing, you don't have to agree with them. In fact, you do not even need to share those dreams if you feel they are something that you need to keep personal. The only thing I would say to you is if you feel there is any lessonary in these dreams or are they simply your mind enjoying a journey? No, there's lessons. There's many subconscious lessons to these dreams. Well, then I would say to you, you are blessed, my friend. This is wonderful. And if you can recognize these dreams as being something that is serving you in your growth and you are able to do this in your dream state, that is quite amazing. You do not have to live it out in your 3D day-to-day -day life as many do. You are gifted with the ability to work through your journey in your dream time. And the fact that you are identifying that there are lessons, may I ask also, are you clear on what the lessons are? Sometimes, yeah, but many of them is unconscious and that would be another question. Why are so many of these so unconscious? Yes. Yes. May I share this with you? As you decide you are going to approach your bedtime, 
and as you put your head to your pillow, I ask you to do a short meditation. I ask you to have a conversation with these parts of your mind. So, of course, initially the frontal lobe will create the idea, will create the reminder, oh yes, I must have a conversation with my unconscious mind and my subconscious mind. Now, if you kept busy your frontal lobe, your conscious mind, this be even better. Possibly play some music, possibly uh, place, make sure that there is no light reflecting from your eyes. Do whatever feels appropriate for you to keep this part of your brain, the frontal lobe, the conscious brain, quiet for a period. Now, once you feel you are stilled, not stinted, stilled, for there is still purpose for the frontal lobe, for the conscious mind here, for what you are going to do is make very direct requests you will be able to broach your unconscious mind and your subconscious mind and have a conversation. You may make requests. This is very, very effective with dream situations. So if you are not clear on the lessons as you go to sleep in your night, you are not fearful. Speak with your unconscious, your subconscious minds. Request that you become aware of what the lessons are without you becoming too distressed. Please emphasize that. This must not be at the, at the expense of your well-being. That is paramount. But you may say to your subconscious and your unconscious minds, which is also communicating with your spirit realm, you may communicate in that sense that yes, you wish and you are having these dreams. Could they further elaborate so that you might be able to wake upon an understanding of a lesson? I will attempt to do that. Very good. Thank you. This will serve you, Sean. This will serve you. Hi, I'm a talk. This is to Matu. I just want to send my love and gratitude to you today. Um, this is my first time speaking with you. Yes. Thank you so much. There is so much love amongst you, wonderful people. I am very blessed and I am very grateful that I am amongst your visitation at this time. Thank you, my dear friend. I hope we meet again. Yes, and I give you permission to come visit me anytime as well. Lovely. Thank you very much. Hello, my, Alma. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, my question for you today is actually, what can I do to better connect with people in my future and on my journey and path that I'm on now? Uh, you feel you are empathic at this time? Yes. 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 Use your empathic abilities to guide you through your journey. There are reasons why 3D humans are able to build upon the ideas of the intangibles. So as you move through your journey, you will identify, once again, you are well equipped to identify moments and points where you will need to make slight decisions, slight deviations to get to that which you wish to reach. So I would say to you, use the love that you have reflected to me, reflect it upon yourself. Have faith and believe that your life will be wonderful and use your empathic abilities as you journey through in the opportunity, if it is open to you, and I do foresee this, there will be opportunity for you to act as counsel of sorts to others on your path. So essentially what you will do, 
is build a wonderful life of mystery and miracle and magic. I feel this very strongly for you, my friend. Is Thank that you. enough? That's great. Um, my last question is kind of about Sean's question about the dreams. Um, how can I, how can I um, better remember? I before I go to bed, I, I tell myself many times that I want to remember my dreams. Um, do you have any advice for me? Yes, I would suggest to you to use the practice that I just introduced to Sean. It is a similar process, except that you would ask for remembrance, not necessarily for lessonary for guidance, but in your efforts you wish to have more remembrance. Now this is something that is influenced, obviously, we all know, by the unconscious and subconscious minds, the human mind that we do so little of. You are all full of wonder, full of minds, full of mass of brains that are barely used. Part of the reason they are barely used is because they are barely addressed. They are barely involved in your day-to-day -day decision making. They are barely identified. Become friends with your unconscious and your subconscious. Build a relationship. It will serve you in so many ways. And it will bring you clarity in so many fascinating, fascinating situations. You will reflect in wonder. So yes, I would answer you in a very similar way to Sean. Speak to your subconscious, speak to your unconscious. As you lay your head on the pillow and you go into sleep, do this repeatedly if need be. Repetition is very effective when it comes to reaching the subconscious and unconscious minds. But you will get clarity and you will have remembrance. In fact, it may be so stark you will be surprised. Is that helpful? Beautiful. Thank you so much. I send my love. You're welcome. Much love to you. Okay, so here. Almatak, hello. Safira? Yes, hello. <laughs> hello, Safira. How are you, my dear friend? I'm good. We have met a few times. And yes. also, please let uh, Kim's heart beat with more love and strength right now as well. And uh, <laughs> I have a question. I was uh, A few weeks ago, I was in a healing session or a clearing session with a woman who uh, also speaks Elohim and is very um, advanced in her healing work. And she told me that there is someone around me who I channel whose light is so bright I could not possibly look at it. I would go blind. It. Yes. But was that you? He had a, a, a armor on as well. Was, was that uh -huh. you? Someone else, yes. Yeah. It, it was not me. I suspect it was uh, another entity that resides not far from my realm. Okay. Uh, the armor I find to be a confusing concept. Perhaps this was symbolic. Perhaps it was symbolic as far as uh, warriorship that is required, perhaps a signal of protection. Mm -hmm. I do feel that if you were to, in your own mind, in your own self, inquire whether this armor was actually in existence, is necessary, is still there, uh, I feel you'll find the answer is no. I think this was something that was perhaps a perception of uh, this wonderful lady that you speak of. I see. I was wondering. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue, please. Um, I was wondering if it was Rujan. He's the Korean who handles to me sometimes. Um, May I say the name again, please? Uh, Rujan. 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 R U J A N. Mhm. Mm 
Yes. Yes. I yes. I'm being told yes. Okay. Yes, it's him. Yes. Well, the the armor may have been more to protect my third eye than than himself from anything, or maybe he's a warrior. I don't know much about him. Yes, um, I don't feel that he 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 wouldn't have any need for armor. Oh, okay. <laughs> His evolution is so high, you know. The the armor is very much a lower dimension idea. Uh -huh. Okay. And he and is very much beyond that. Okay. And I, I I do channel, but I would love to be able to trans channel, which I'm supposed to be capable of. And I I don't know how close I am to doing that. I try to let go. I try to do the breathing. Do you have any <laughs> other tips for letting go and letting others speak through me more clearly? Yes. I, I would say to you, my friend, and this is something that I have mentioned many times, it is very powerful to come to the understanding of the idea of surrender. Mm -hmm. So although there is encouragement to let go and people are communicated with about uh, they carry blocks here and there is misfit there, uh, it becomes a complicated process. In my experience with Kim, she surrenders. She simply opens herself up, as if you can imagine, and <laughs> she's telling me this may be an interesting analogy. If you were to imagine, if you had a zip that you would take and you would zip to your torso and you would essentially open up around, especially the solar plexus, depending on the being that you're bringing in, so you are laying there in surrender, and you are let, you are creating an opening for this being to come in. Now, as you do so, and these breathing techniques are very powerful because they also will enter through the mouth, through the throat. There are some that prefer to come that way. So this is the surrender. It is the idea of not having the concept of anything physical between yourself and the being. And this is where the zip analogy comes in. Mm -hmm. It is a, a surrender of psychic ability. It's a surrender of telepathy. And it's a surrender of an idea of yourself that you hold. It's mm -hmm. about making room for the other entity to enter and feel comfortable. And you may build a relationship as you do channel. Mm -hmm. That's why as you practice it, you become more masterful of it and you can remain in trance state for extended periods of time and have all sorts of interesting synchronicities going on before and after. <laughs> Vera, you are most definitely an able channeler, most Definitely. And even when you believe you are not channeling, there are times that you are. Now I'm being told that sometimes perhaps you are concerned about your 3D realm, your 3D world that is going on around you at times. It is distressing for you and it does not allow for you to be in a state of willingness, to be in a state of openness to be in a state of surrender. There is an element of the idea that you need to be aware. You need to have one eye on something. So I would say to you to bring this one eye back into alignment. Look to the spirit realm. Be aligned with your vibrational frequencies. I know you understand these things. Mm -hmm. You know the difference between your vibration and you know the difference between the being of another because you sense them around you. So in the moments where you feel that you can be free of your 3D concerns or you feel that you can choose to be, because I may, may I share with you the idea that channeling is actually a very dual experience. It is pleasurable. 
-hmm. So you may come to the idea of channeling perhaps with a concern on your mind and allow the channel to happen and when the channel is finalized you may feel invigorated. You may feel you have the answer to the question that came to you while you were out wandering and the rest of you was being the vessel of a channel. So as, as I have addressed, if there are 3D issues around you that are causing you concern, some complexity, some emotion that is not necessarily serving you, Put them in a box. If you choose it to be a treasure box, a golden treasure box with a key, keep the key safe. Unlock the lid, open it and put your worries in there. Close it, lock it, take the key out and put it somewhere that you know no one else will find it. Now obviously this is a visualization. The mm -hmm. sensation behind doing this exercise and completing, especially completing, that you have hidden the key. Then you may take the time to indulge in yourself. The other thing, agree with yourself that when the time comes, you can go and grasp that key, return to your golden treasure box, unlock it, take out the concerns and address them. That's beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You do not need to hold on to your ideas of concern and worry at all times. You are a wonderful mm -hmm. being, Safira. You are loving. Thank you are you. very giving. You are deserving of everything that you desire. So please pop your concerns in that box and surrender. Thank you. Thank you. So much love and that was very edifying I think for everybody. Thank you so much. You're awesome. welcome. Sarah. Thank you very much. Um, maybe it's time to play the lottery this week, Severe. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have um, one last question for you Alma Talk. It's going to come from Angela. So yeah. I'll actually introduce Angela to you and, um, and then we're going to wrap this up for Kim, um, give her a little bit of a break and we're going to hand it over to our next special guest which will be Sapira. So Angela, oh, please ask away. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Atak. Hello. How are you? I am well, thank you, Andy. Um, I've never met you before, and um, it it has been a wonderful time listening to you today. I've learned an awful lot, and um, I'm just wondering if you had um, any message for me today. Yes, I do. I sense there is an element of hesitation. What is it that you are concerned about, my friend? And I ask you this rhetorically. You are in a wondrous group at this time. Perhaps you are new to the group, I am not sure. I would say to you, my dear friend, do you have some very hidden, interesting and wonderful vibrations? I would ask you to begin to share those, please. They are valuable very valuable. Your vibrations are something that are very distinct. Duclo is the perfect place for you to open yourself up and to identify the, that reality that you reach for. Now perhaps you are learning and you are moving through the Hukulo experience and being exposed to new ideas and new concepts and perhaps once or twice you have thought, oh that resonates with me, oh that's a good idea. Follow those moments please. I appreciate that you have come to visit me today. It is wonderful that you have done so, I thank you. Please yes, have faith in yourself, please. There is much wonderment in you, my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Alma Talk. 
my loving gratitude for your interactions and being here today. And uh, because our regular gym is away, it's, it's a pleasure for Kim to make this step up as well. So if you have anything you want to say before you leave, um, now's the perfect opportunity, or you can just bring Kim back as you choose. But I just want to say from all of us here, thank you very much for today, and we look forward to further interactions. Yes, may I share a short visualization with everybody who is hearing at this time? Of course. I would like everybody who is hearing my voice at this time and in future where they may come back to listen to a recording. Please let us look to the brain. I have referenced this a couple of times in this deliverance. I would like to bring you to reference to your conscious brain, your frontal lobe. Now here I would like you to shine a golden light. The hue of gold that you resonate with the most. I wish you to fill it with that. For this is the identification of source. This is how I wish for you to view it. Now, I would also like for you to create coming from above a hue of the colour mauve, of the colour purple, of the colour violet, whichever one you choose and encompass the back third of your brain, your physical brain with this colour. Maintain it. Hold on to it. Now, I ask you to follow a journey. Projected in front of you, as you remain in your violet colour, move forward. You may feel your feet upon the ground. You may float. It is whatever you perceive it to be. You may run. You may swim. Now there is an horizon. And it is very close to the next few steps you will take. You are not able to see beyond that horizon at this point. You take one step, another step, and on the third step, you will see a vast nothingness. This will bring you peace. For you understand that this be where you build your safe place. So I ask you, as you stand there, what is it you would like to bring into your safe place? What colour is your sky? Is it a magical rainbow? Do you hear the sound of water, a waterfall? a stream, dolphins. What surrounds the water? What is under the sky? Is it plants? Is it stones? Is it foliage? Is it flowers? Do you smell? Is there a scent? Something very pleasurable to you. Something that brings you calmness. May you sit. May you kneel. May you lay wherever you choose. And you use your imagination, your subconscious in the purple colour, to build yourself a place of wonder where nothing is impossible. This place always be safe for you, be long to you, and be forever changeable. I ask you to spend a short moment 
to this now, for this example, in this creation that you have built. But I ask you, please return to it at a later time and perhaps enhance it. Perhaps you've had an idea of how to change it. Allow it to be whatever you wish it to be and allow it to be in your forever. For return to this place when you need to feel that you are peaceful, you are aligned and you are safe. Please take a few seconds. I will count to ten and I will bring you back slowly. So as you stand, perhaps you fly. You move back. And as you move back over the horizon, we've brought you to your safe place. The hue of the violet, of the purple, residing in your subconscious, begins to fade as you return back into your body with the knowingness that you have made a creation that is greater than you could ever imagine. I ask you then, come back to the gold of source in the frontal room, in your consciousness, move that wonderful golden light throughout you, allow it to feel your entire body, every cell, every beat, every movement, and in peace, open your eyes and be in mood. And remember, this is a gift that you made for you. Thank you very much for welcoming me today. I wish you all so much love. May I be of help to you all. Trust that I shall. Much love. Namaste. 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 Thank you. Namaste. Namaste, everybody. I will return to you. And our unconditional love to you. Thank you very much, Amatok. We look forward to having you back again. Hey, Kim. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Kim. Oh Kim, so beautiful. So beautiful. Thank you. Of course it is your heart and your spirit which allows his heart and his spirit to speak through you in the way in the loving and wise and gentle. It's uh, you know, sometimes direct but also always gentle and loving and it's just wonderful. Thank you for being who you are. That he could channel through you. Thank you. Thank you, Safira. Mm -hmm. I hear my friend that you're going to do so now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> we shall see what we shall see. <laughs> yeah, let it be, let it be. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you so much, Kim, for making that step and, and coming and joining us today. It not only honors me but the the whole of the group and also I believe yourself. So give yourself a big pat on the back and big congratulations because mm -hmm. that was awesome. You did almost two hours there, Kim. Wow. Well, One little break that. we had. That was just nice, but mm. we had that. So it was um absolutely <laughs> awesome stuff. Thank you. How do you feel? I feel great. <laughs> I really do. I just feel so full of love. I just, yeah, it's brilliant. 
Just You'll be burning to watch this back now. Pardon? <laughs> You'll be burning to watch this back now, yes? Yeah, I probably will, but no, I'm, I'm staying for Severa. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So yes, next up we have our amazing Safira, who is stepping up also, and she was um, supposed to be part of a... Um, when Jim was away another time, uh, Safira was going to be part, but unfortunately she couldn't make it. So I put the hand out there for this weekend for her to join us. Um, Safira, I'd like to just have a quick introduction and just say hi and thank you for coming today. I know you had work a bit late, so you have to join us a bit later, and that's the reason why we had to start an hour later today as well, guys. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Safira. If you'd like to say hello and introduce yourself. Thank you, Rohi. Hi, everybody. Some of you know me. I've been around Ukulo for about a year and a half, almost since it started, and have done some channeling here and there. And I work, I work uh, night shifts, so I usually can't make it to the Saturday webinar. So thank you, Rohi and everybody, for coming a little later so that I could be here with you today. And I know that there is so much interest and so much love and joy that our ET friends want to give us so I'm always grateful if I could share some of that with you. Thank you. Does anyone have anything to say before I try as it so before I begin? Just that you are awesome and you, there is no trying needed with you Safira. You do an amazing job on your channel and I love the entities that you bring through, be it from Takur all the way through to um, Arusha and a few others not to mention as well. So um, <laughs> I'm sure you're going to get a few requests. Yeah, here we go for Takur already. But I'm not sure. Do you have any idea of who you'll be bringing through today? I have been asking all morning. <laughs> <laughs> and I have not gotten a clear answer exactly who. So... Okay. I just know I feel a lot of love in my heart, and um, so mm -hmm. let me see. I will meditate for a moment, and let's see who would like to come through. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Love you, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ushimahana Pinoho Hu Minaha. This is Takur. I will come for a few minutes since I have been requested. Greetings to all of you. Muha. Muha. Pishahamaha. Greetings, Takur. Thank Greetings. you so much for coming through today. Your presence I... is always welcome. <laughs> It is also a blessing for us as well. We are not thinking that we are up somewhere and you are down, that we are above, you are below, that we are better, that you are lower. There is a oneness in all things. It is as much a pleasure and blessing for me and us to interact with you as it is for you to interact with us. I will not be able to... Sharing. Sorry, please. I no, thank you, Rui. I will not be answering two technical questions through Safira today. If there are questions of the heart or mind or situations, perhaps I can do my best. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Please, um, if there's questions you don't want to answer, just please say so. Um, I think Sure has the first question on the list here. So, uh, Sure, would you like to ask questions? Okay. Yes. Hello, sure. Sure. Hello, dear Sure. 
Um, Tucker, do you remember the first experiment that I um, offered to conduct? Mm, is it with sending someone to speak to someone to you? Um, something of that nature. Um, when Jim channeled you, I gave you a certain word and I was wondering if you can give me the same uh, word from a different person when uh, you would be channeled, if you remember. Mm. I don't remember, no. Hmm. I am not fully, it is not a full trans channeling, it is more a stream of consciousness with Sophia. Ah, oh, okay. Um, anyway, much love, and thank you for everything that you do. It's uh, highly appreciated. Can you please tell me a little bit more about your request? Maybe I can go okay. and watch it. Um, one of the time I want to conduct an experiment when I will give a gym a certain word when he channels you. I mm. gave you a certain word and um, we decided that maybe you will try to give me that word from a different person that will channel you um, to see if that will is it, work. Is it for you to feel secure that it is me who is speaking? Yes, some sort of a confirmation that I'm still... Uh... <laughs> do you yes. remember that experience? How do you, uh, I'd like to ask you, how do you feel in your heart? Do you feel it is me or do you feel it is not me? In my heart I feel that it's you. In my mind I feel that it's kind of you. And yeah, it is, not, it is not completely me as you perhaps have experienced uh, through Jim or through Kim, who do more uh, trans-channeling. Sophia will soon get to that point. However, when one tries to test, there will be many tricks in the way. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I, even if I knew the word, I may give you a different one. I may not follow through with your experiment. <laughs> did the word begin with an, did the word begin with an M? Actually it's begin with a T. Ah, I see. Very well. Okay. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> it is fine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Nah, it's okay. As long as it you come, so it's not a disappointment. Safira is not allowed to use my name unless it is me. She could never utter the word to care if it was not to care. This you can be sure. <laughs> I may not feel like playing along with your game. You know, you either feel it is me, and I have given much great advice, as so has Almatak before me, and pretty much every other being who has come through, both in spirit and in other planetary realms. Everything we say is for your growth and towards worldwide ascension, which is also affecting the universe. If you take these words into consideration, then it does not matter from whom they come. It does not matter if it is Takur who is speaking these words, or it is Amatak who is speaking, or it is Shell, or Ish, or Grendel, or Dizdu, Pentel, Tepech, any one of these beings who are coming and speaking and sharing. Their intent is always to lift up, to educate, and to help towards ascension. So yes, it does I not know. really matter. It does not really matter whether it is me or not. The words will be the same. Why does it matter to you if it is me or it is not me? If the words are rich and if the words are 
edifying. It's a matter of experience. Um, to conduct an experiment, it's not about um, if I believe you or not. Um, Have you tried? To sure, I am. Believe me, I am. There is no offense. I am simply trying to show something to you. Have you yourself attempted to channel me? I do not recall in the recent mm. time that you have asked me to channel through you. Mm. No. Therefore, I would suggest, I would like to offer this opportunity for you to develop this aspect. I would love to speak through you. I would love to be trans in you, so to speak, in whichever way, that you can feel my energy and know it is me. Mm -hmm. I invite okay. you to invite me. <laughs> I am not mm. limited to any one particular person. I am limited to the intention, those who do channel through Yukolo and those who desire to channel, and just about everybody here. Their intention is to lift themselves up, to raise themselves up, and to help with the ascension. And this is our concern. We can speak through anyone whose intention and walk of life is towards a vibration which is vibrating acceptance, oneness, unconditionalness, and service. This is how you know you are in a good path a good way to raise your vibration. Many ask about their vibration and how to raise their vibration. Are you in service to others without expecting anything in return? This is part of the raising of your vibration. It is not magical. We do the same thing. We are always in service. We are in service to you. There are others who are serving us. It is a constant give and take, a constant flow of service and receiving and receiving and giving and creating something new out of that giving and receiving based on the intention of oneness. Do you serve? Whom do you serve? Even if once a day you write a letter to a lonely person, you become pen pals with someone in prison you donate somewhere, somehow, homeless people. There are so much need around you. You can say each has their own karma, and it is not necessary to interfere in their own responsibility. This is also partly true. It is each person's karma, each person's responsibility. However, when you reach beyond yourself to serve, even when you feel it is not your direct responsibility to do so, it is then a blessing to them and a blessing to you, and it raises your vibration. Acts of kindness, goodness, letting go of criticism. There is someone here, I believe it is Rob, who asked in the chat if there is a message, and a message is, it all begins with you. You will understand that. It all begins with you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Much love. Much love to you. Sure, much love. Please invite me to speak through you. I never turned before. Hopefully, <laughs> sometime soon. Yes, when you concentrate on your heart, and it is good to be intellectual, however, it can sometimes get in the way doesn't mean that people who channel are not intellectual. No, those who channel are intellectual. It is simply to say they can put it aside for a more heart chakra centered experience. Mm -hmm. I would suggest you can try it. I would. <laughs> mm. that, was, that was beautiful. Thank you so much guys. Interesting interaction. And I love that. I love the way you clarified that, Sakura. So we have a question from Alex next. Yes. Hi, Sakura. Nice to meet you. Hello, I, uh, Alex. I Thanks. heard plenty about you uh, through Jim and 
and many mm -hmm. others. So I'm sending you my unconditional love. And, and back to you as well. Thank you. Uh, my question, and it was, um, it was, it surfaced because um, I listened to Kim a little bit earlier, and it t she talked about hybrid children, and um, I wanted to know if it's possible to find out if I have any, and, and if not, what is my role with them, since I'm not quite familiar with it, but I sort of heard about them. If this is uh, perhaps not the information I can give through Sophia, however, mm -hmm. those who find their way to below usually do have already older children. Those who find their way and stay in Yukolo or other areas of spiritual communities around the world and through the internet, as you call it, where they gather and talk about such things, have themselves hybridization of their DNA to other planetary races. If you are asking this question, what is the answer you feel within yourself, Alex, as you ask that question? How does that re resonate with you? That you do have hybrid children or that you don't? Well, if I center myself right now, I would say yes. Well, then it is about 98% sure that you do. Okay. Do I there was, visit there was them? A, like, what's the purpose of having them? It is a natural result of your DNA being infused with other species to strengthen the human race through hybrid children, to be able to have hybrid children who can communicate on all levels with all peoples, sort of intergalactic ambassadors, so to speak. The human being is a very fascinating spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically and absolutely fascinating species for the rest of the universe. It is impossible to explain how wondrous you are, how wondrous your bodies are, how the melding together of your spirit and your soul and your mind and your physical body is all unified together or when it is unified together what you can experience this has been the this has been the the block so to speak between you and all of you being able to answer all these questions for yourself you do not need us to give you these answers. They are all within your realm of knowledge. However, there is the separation of mind and body. There is a separation of intention and body. You intend to help others, but your body does not do it. Your mind stops you. Your fear stops you. Your thought of what others think stop you. There are so many things which stop you, all of you, from doing the good intentions you have in your mind almost daily, sometimes hourly, in your heart, your wish to be great, your wish to stand up and be advocates for the injustice in this world, to heal, those, to heal the wounds of those who need wound, wounded healing for the love you want to give all around you and to your planet it is profound, it is profound, yet there are a number who actually can flow with intention of their mind to their heart, to their spirit, to their bodies, following through with their good intentions.
That was beautiful. Thank you so much. You did, in a way, explain a lot, which I was not aware of. So I very much, much gratitude. Thank you. Alex, dear Alex, I am not <laughs> done with you so quickly. <laughs> hmm. I'm I not saying. <laughs> not getting away that easy, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, because you know of what I spoke. You have also the same desire, intentions. Therefore, you have all of the knowledge within you that you are asking me. If you find a way to unite your intentions with your actions, your heart with your mind, you will. the knowledge will trickle through. You have probably been visited by your hybrid children, your hybrid child. You are simply not as aware of it. I am having a difficult time um, with my body and being human and that's one of the challenges that I'm currently facing in at this present time so yeah it's very difficult to unite both I still have not mastered this dimension yet and it's uh, it's taking me a little bit longer than I wish it would I understand it is a wonderful privilege that you have to have your physical body and I will explain why through your physical body you are able to grow your spiritual self more quickly than if you were without it it is the actions of your body united with your intention and your heart which give food to your spirit it is a way to feed your spirit Feeding your spirit is, yes, being with others of like mind, sharing high thoughts, praying, meditating, receiving fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth dimensional energies. However, how you really and truly grow your spirit to a mature adult as you might be is through your body. And few people realize this. Your body is precious. It is precious. It is precious to each and every one of you. I say this, and I know that Safira does not honor her body as well. I want her to get these words more deeply as well. Your body is precious. The experiences of life be they challenging, be they joyful, are precious. If you can accomplish at least understanding the honor your body has within itself, the honor of having your body, being able to use it in any way, shape, or form, you do not even need to walk to use your body, to give others, to serve, to use it to grow your spirit. You do not realize that, as Jim and others have said several times, and I have said, and Lakesh and others, that it is good to be in your third dimensional life because this is where you chose to be. You chose to be here for a reason. And whether it is to just say, well, I'm going to go back one more time, and darn it, I am going to learn to love to be on the earth, if, even if that is just your lesson then that is a valuable one to learn to love to be here. There are many wondrous, wondrous things on this earth, things which are yet undiscovered, things in nature, things in your atmosphere, things just all around you that science is discovering every day. There's just so much wonder and wonder in your relationships. So many of you hide, you hide, you hide from one another. And that is why it is hard to experience the wonder of your relationships, the wonder of the creativity that can be shared between you and among you. If you all united right now to make a singing group or make an art group or make an instrumental group or make a healing group, whatever group you decided to make as a group right here, right now, would be wondrous 
and would create great and beautiful things. It is interesting to know that you can speak with other beings, that we are doing our best to help this earth remain in its timeline, and that there is less loss of life in different disasters, etc., as you have heard. This is exciting information. It gives you some security. However, it will never replace your own spiritual growth. It will never replace the actions. We cannot take the actions for you to fulfill your good intentions. We cannot, we can encourage you to understand how important your 3D life is. If you decide to leave this 3D earth because you hate it, you cannot join us in our 4D world. This is not what we want of you or what your God wants of you to have this attitude while you are here on the earth. It is for you to love where you are and love those around you and love yourself. That you can experience love much more deeply on any other level. It is a give and take, give and take, give and take. It is a circle. Can you follow, Alex? Yes, totally. I'm following. I Very will well. definitely strive to look at the world in that way. Yes, this is not only for you. I spoke to all. Yes. But there are many who feel as you do. Therefore, it is a good mm, example. Good example. <laughs> mm. Glad I asked. Thank you for <laughs> allowing me in love to use you as that example. Did you all understand what I was saying to you now? Very much so, yes. Thank you, Tagore. You're very welcome. We have another question from Angela. Yes. Hi, Tiker. How are you? I am very well. Angela, thank you. Just wanted to say how much I love you and um, how much I enjoy our time together. And um, I just um, wanted to share that with you today. Oh, thank you so much, Angela. That is very kind of you. You also give a lot to us. It is not only we that want to give something to you, but you also, in your interaction with us, in the beauty of your mind, in the colors of your auras, in the creativity and the thoughts which come out of you, in the good intention of your hearts, it is also a gift for me to be with you. And Thanks. Thanks. Namaste. I am going to go now. I believe that Arusha wants to come in and say a few words. Just a moment. Namaste. 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 <laughs> Blessings to you all. Thank you, Takura. I have my gratitude to you. Ah, hello. Hello, this is Arusha. Welcome, Arusha. Ah. Hi, Arusha. <laughs> hello. I would just like to, let's have some fun and joy. It is a very heavy, heavy, heavy sometimes. It is wonderful and joyful and loving and important information, so important, but let's remember the joy. How many of you feel joyful right now? Totally. I do. Me, 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 It is wonderful. Yes, joy is a wonderful thing because it is like the bubbles in the champagne. It bubbles, 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 everything on the inside, which wants to come up and out and express itself. It is like a bubbles. Imagine yourself all champagne bottles. And the cork is tight in there. And you go boom and pfft, And all the champagne bubbles, full of color, prickling and tickling and bringing joy and tasting good and sharing with each other. 
Yes. Arusha, it's an absolute <laughs> pleasure and wonder to have you. This is Rowie here, and welcome yeah, to oh, Ukulele. Yes, of course. Hello, hello, hello. In your most joyous way, would you like to just quickly introduce yourself to everybody here, as uh, some people might not have um, come across you yet? Oh, yes, yes. Well, I am a blue Pleiadian. I am shorter than most. If you know, the Kesh is also short and round, sort of like the big marshmallow man but very loving and soft. I am smaller than he is. I am not quite as round, but I am short. And I have blondish blue hair, or whitish blue. Uh, I have big blue eyes, and my skin is blue. And I live on one of the outskirts of the Pleiadian system planet. And I came through Sephira some time ago, and yes, this is all I will say for now. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Um, you. Are you okay taking questions, or would you like to give us some impartation or message? I can answer questions if somebody has one. I think Stephen was next on our question list. So, Stephen, would you like to ask your question? Hello, Stephen. Hello, Rusha. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm great. Thank you. There is so much to celebrate. Even in the darkest of dark, there is much to celebrate. Yes, you yeah. on that. <laughs> yes, I yes. Agree. How, can I, yeah. How can I help you? Uh, many blessings, much love. Um, I was just wondering. Well, uh, do you have any messages for me? Any messages from my, say, my Blue Pleiadian dad? Just a moment. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and it is this, and I'm sure you can understand it. Let it flow. All right. Does yes. that make sense to you? Yes, it does. <laughs> let it flow, let it flow in joy. Imagine yourself on a leaf in a running river, and you are lying on that leaf, and you are just letting life and letting your path follow you along for a while. Or you, it is carrying you along, and you are flowing, you are letting it flow. And then letting it flow, you loosen a lot of hinges you are trying to release, but it is harder to release them when you are very tense and full of concentration. And if you just let it flow, then the solutions come of their own. Can you follow? Yes, thank you. You're very welcome. And much love to you, by the way, from him. Thank you. Thank you. Much love to him. Hmm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Kim, you're next. <laughs> yes. <laughs> me. Am I next? Am I next? Okay, and who is this, please? It's Kim. Oh, dear sweet Kim. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Arusha. <laughs> oh, let me give you a big blue. Oh, yes. Squishy, squishy, oh, squishy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, Arusha. Thank you for coming. I love you as well. Thank you so much, as you all like to say. Can I do something for you, sweet, my dear sweet Kim? You know what you could do? You could tell yourself that I love you. <laughs> I feel it. I feel that love. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you have 
opened your bottle of champagne and yes. it is bubbling everywhere. Everybody in the room, open up your bottle of champagne. Pop, 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 pop the cock. Let me hear everybody. Pop open their bubbles of champagne and let's give each other a hug. Hugs and hugs and hugs and love and encouragement because there is nothing in this entire universe that cannot be soothed by a hug. There is yeah. no pain too great. A hug and love will never, ever, ever be lost in its intentions. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. Thank you. I feel the bubbles of your champagne. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, beautiful, because I feel yours. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> Namaste and much love. Uh, that was oh. Dave, Thank you. Oh, I'd like to hear from everybody else as well. How is everybody doing today? How are you feeling? Did you open up your champagne? I, I opened up my champagne last night and it kind of overbubbled me this morning, Arusha, unfortunately. Oh. But I'm feeling so <laughs> much more blessed having you right here. Now. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Yes. We can be as serious as we need to be, and there are many, many things in this world which need our serious attention. Yes, and we often ask you to grow yourselves so that we can also ask you to help with these serious situations. We can only do so much on our own. We need you. We are in spirit and we need your bodies and your minds and your energy to work in these very serious situations. However, as serious as they are, it is joy, it is love, it is warmth that is going to make a break in the chisel. It is going to make a break in the walls and it is going to sneak in there. And when you have a hole in the dams, the water will rush in and the dam cannot be held any longer. <laughs> this is the purpose and the purpose of life is actually joy. The purpose of joy is to break down any walls where there might be walls and just to celebrate where there are no walls. We grow with joy as well and with giving joy. Be of good hearts, each of you here, be of good heart. Be, let your heart be filled with joy. There are many worries. There are many physical pains. You think that I say this lightly as if I do not know. No, I know. There is pain and there is worry <clears throat> and there is heartache and there is loss. However, allow me to fill your hearts with beautiful joy and a beautiful love. It can soothe. It can, this is like a balm. It is like a soothing bone. And know that you are each on a path which you yourselves, in part, have chosen to overcome and to learn. All of these paths are temporary because we are all in eternity. We are all floating in eternity. Therefore, nothing that you are experiencing now is forever. Beautiful, Richard. I have a short message for you from Liney. She just wants to give you a big hello. Oh, so. dear Liney. Dear Liney, a sister full of wonderful intention and desire to love and to give and to support us as much as she possibly can and also deals with a lot of 3D situations in the most wonderful way. Yes, we thank you for honoring your 3D life and your children. We thank you for the love you send to us. We thank you for the intention you have of healing this earth along with others. We thank you and we send you and I send you my champagne bubbles full of love and a big hug over to you, sweet lining. Thank you. Thank you, Arusha. Harris, would you like to ask a question? Oh, yes. Yeah. Hello? 
Hello, Harris. Have hey. you opened up your champagne bottle inside yes, of yourself? Yes. I'm drinking oh, it right now. I got it from you. Thank you so much. It's so nice, this champagne bottle. Oh, this, is <laughs> this is wonderful. I feel like a little child in a playground in the sand. Yeah. Playing with everybody. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Yes. Is there something I can uh, share with you today, dear Harris? Oh, yes. I just wanted to share the appreciation and love, and I just want to say you are a wonderful, vibrant being. Oh. I'm just enjoying every moment connecting with you. Oh, thank you. It is wonderful to be here with all of you. Thank you, thank you. And for all of you watching, I send bubbles of love, bubbles of joy, bubbles of encouragement. Yes, encouragement. There is always encouragement. There is always light. There is always love at your fingertips. It is always there for you, always. And sometimes it requires you to come just a little bit more out of hiding than you like to hide. And just reach out a little bit more in a way that you are perhaps not used to reaching out. Or reach up in your mind and pray. Not in a, I know this word prayer is connected to a particular religion, but let's forget that. Let's forget theologies for a moment. Because all theologies, more or less, lead up to our unity with the One, and our unity with our mind and our body, ourselves and with others. In any case, there is always love. There is always help from the spiritual side at any second you ask for it. It is always there. Be of good courage and be of hope and know that this is always true. And not because Arusha said it is true. Talk to your friend. Ooh, what is that sound? <sighs> Talk to your fellow human beings. Ask them when you reached out. When did you find your ray of hope? Where did you find your ray of hope? Where did you find the love in your heart? And they will tell you, I asked, it was there, I didn't know, it was there, the spirits came to me, I saw a book that I needed to read, a friend called me up out of nowhere, I had a beautiful dream which lifted me up. It is always there, at your fingertips, your job is simply to ask for it and then to act in good intention with your mind and your body. Harris, are you still there? Um, Harris, hello? Mm -hmm. I think not, Arusha. I'm not sure. I, he was there I for me. Okay, I do not remember where this began, but I hope this was helpful. Yes, I got a little um, a little request actually here. Um, uh, we have an, an old friend called Laura J. L. J. as she was known at by, and she would like to pass on an invitation to you, Arusha, and everybody that's part of the webinar or watching to share in the wedding of the 30th of June. She's getting married and she's streaming it live on YouTube. Um, I know you have a special way of, um, of attending these events in your uh, dimensional ways. So it's going to be in Exeter in the UK on the 30th of June. So she's extending everybody out to take part in, in watching if anyone would like to join. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. I will come and maybe I will come while and through Safira while she is watching it and believe, believe that you and your partner Terry will be floating. You will be floating through your marriage experience and there will be many, many champagne bubbles of joy and color flowing from you out to us 
and from us down back to you. Yes. Oh, now, <laughs> I would like to make a suggestion to you, if I might. If you, I love to watch your children blow their bubbles with colors all around. Maybe you can have some children blowing bubbles and you can think of the champagne of joy, the champagne bubbles of joy that will be flowing out of you and flowing back to you in your beautiful experience there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Does anyone else have any questions for Arusha? Yes, no? I have one. Or Krell? Rob, you go first. Um, you haven't asked today. Hello, who is this, please? I'm who who am I speaking with? Krell. Hello, you're, oh, you're Krell. A bit quiet, Krell. If you could speak up a little bit more. Hello. Hi. Is my volume better now? Yes, it is fine. How are you? I'm fine. Just wanted to say hi and Thank ask. You. Just wanted to ask if there were any um, messages for me, either energetically from the universe or from the beings I interact with. Mm. How are your grounding exercises doing? Fine. How do you ground yourself? Send a stream of energy from my chakra to the earth. Mm -hmm. And do you spend some time touching nature in some way? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Well, this was my only thought that came immediately, was about your grounding. There may be other ways to ground more deeply, to connect more to your physical body, and to honor it more in connection with the 3D life. You have a great desire to be in other dimensions. Is this true? I have a great desire to become a galactic being, yes. 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 The way to become a galactic being is to become a great and wonderful citizen of your planet, of your home, of your community, of your town, of your city, of your nation. When you are a great citizen, you already learn to interact with people from every single type of character, from every single type of race, from every single type of heritage, from every single type of religion, every single type of scientific understanding. When you immerse yourselves in all of these cultures and races and you interact as a great citizen, then you are automatically elected to be a great galactic citizen as well. Thank you for that. Thank Does you. Thank you, Krell. Much love to you. Much love. Okay. Well, We've I got believe... one more question, if that's okay, Arusha. Oh, Would you okay. mind? I No, I just feel like it has been a very long day for all of you and it is time to go. But I can take one more question. I'm, I can go on. I'm fine. <laughs> OK, yeah. I, I believe Mary has a question. So we'll finish yes. off with Mary's question and then do some blessings. Hello, Mary. Hello. Um, it's not so much a question, but just I wanted to thank you for your uh, positive energy. Uh, at, while listening, I, I started to get really uh, kind of fatigued and that's probably too because I'm in the middle of packing but when I heard your voice and your spirit come through it just lightened everything and just gave me like this super burst of joy and light and um, I just want to thank you for sharing that and also if at any time um, if you would allow it if I could um, 
reach out to you for that kind of energy when I do have um, uh, feelings of just kind of bleh. <laughs> yes, 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 of course. And if you contact uh, Safira uh, and you would just like to spend some time with me, I can do that as well if you like. And uh, not the, uh, uh, well, hmm. Yes, it is freely given. That's I just want to say that, and I'm very grateful and blessed to have been able to add something to your day and to your spirit and to your energy. And thank you so much for sharing that with me. Thank you again. It's just much appreciated. Namaste. I, I would like to give you a big, big blue hug. A big I'm hugging you back. Oh, <laughs> Hug, 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 yes, hug. Much strength for your preparation and what you are going into and forward to. And yes, I hope to talk to you soon. Okay. Bye bye. Namaste. Namaste. You know, Namaste. Rusha, of all the beings we meet, I mean, your planet has got to be one of the most awesome planets in the universe. Seriously, if I want to incarnate on a planet, I think it's going to be yours next. Oh, yes, it is wonderful. Uh, however, we still work on ascension, yes? We uh -huh. are not ultimate oneness, and maybe ascension goes on forever and ever as the universe expands and the consciousness of the great creator in spirit expands, expands in creation, and in creativity, yes, yes, yes. Our issues are different from yours. However, we are here to give you the encouragement and the joy and to know, as I said, it is always there at your fingertips. Please ask. Please ask. Mary, if you ask, I will come and drop some champagne bubbles on your head <laughs> to give you joy, or for anybody. But you all have champagne bubbles of joy inside yourselves. And once in a while, you get together and have a party, and pop open that champagne, and drink with each other, and celebrate your beautiful moments, and tell each other, remind each other that your down times, your darker times, your pain, it is floating in eternity and is very, very temporary. <laughs> with that, I will close with a blessing, if that is okay for you. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> a slightly mix of Arcturian and Pleiadian. I wish many, many blessings on all of you to feel the warmth, feel the love, feel the joy, be in communion with one another, reach out, step out, and become citizens of your world. All that I have shared with you, it is the greatness of who you are, all that Takur shared with you about the wonder of who you are. Yes, please, remember, bring this into your being into your consciousness and raise yourself up. You are beautiful, wonderful, joyous beings. And you are here because your intention is good and your love is going out and your light is going out. It is not just us who is giving something to you. You are vibrating rays of life and love and beautiful colors and creativity and encouragement out to us as well. And for that, we are thankful and we are in your debt as well. We thank you all and wish you a very blessed, blessed, blessed time and to remember your blessings and to remember that anything less is simply temporary. We thank you. Namaste. Namaste, dear one. Thank you so much. I Namaste, thank you. Arusha. Much love, dear friend. Love, much love. Just a moment. Okay. Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome.
Yeah, thank you. Well done, oh, Sephira. Oh, so good, hon. Honestly, I love that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, just want to get some orange juice here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, big, big, big yeah. gratitude for doing that, coming today, and both of you, both Kim and Safira. If yes, anyone wants to say thank you, please, um, please do so now. If if you're in the room, if we'd like to show your uh, gratitude. Oh, it's okay. I don't need it. <laughs> I know it's there. Um, Kim, I'm going to. I didn't hear get to hear your. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody speaking. I'm sorry. No. No, you go ahead. Oh, I see Alexa's picture. I thought she was speaking. It's a beautiful picture, I'm, Alex. Um, I'm listening to her. I, oh, I missed your. I missed most of what Amitak was sharing, but I will listen to it. He's also so deep. Oh gosh, yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> you look like Thank you're about you. to. <laughs> you look like you're about ready to go to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm just so comfortable and so relaxed and I don't know, I feel really good. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> how, is everybody, how is Ruth's everybody? Energy when she came through was just was just stunning, you know. It just really it really just blew everybody away. I think just the dynamic was <laughs> like <laughs> even though Tara came through really well as well and it was beautiful to have that dialogue and also it's very some really important things you touched on there with Takura as well so I'm glad they got addressed and I hope people can trust and see that the the light within others is a light within themselves and it was a really important yeah. message so okay. we're going to um, tie up the end here just want to thank everybody so much for tuning in before I hand it over to Dan to do the end to do the outro. So uh, everyone who made it today and asked the questions, I know it wasn't the usual regular webinar that we, we have, but I'm sure more of these are going to happen in the future as more of our members become you know, more confident of stepping up into the public domain and doing their amazing channelings. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it was so much gratitude for all the entities that came today. Thank you very much for the interactions because without you guys, you know, there's there's nothing going on. So you're so important. Don't ever forget that. You're as important as the entities our channelers bring through. So, Dan, would you uh, like to Rowie, oh. yeah. before you go, thank you because you facilitated this so beautifully. Thank you, Rowie. It's my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. My pleasure. I did that Will was there. Hello, Will. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here with us. Yes, thank you. Sarah, okay, I have to thank Guru Dan also and Hayan who was working behind the scenes too. Oh, Hello. thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big thanks to Hayan and Dan. So, Dan, over to you. All right. Thank you, and thank you, everybody, and everything. Uh, this has been a broadcast of Hukalo TV uh, located at www.humancolony.org um, Rory, did you want me to do the announcements one last time or um, I can know and... at the beginning so um, All yeah, right, if anyone actually let... has anything they want to sign out with, like a blessing or anything like that, or um, some galactic language, um, if anyone wants to do something. Yeah, that would be great if anybody wants to. Will, would you like to do something? <laughs> Put him on the spot. Yeah. No, no, no. The, my computer was uh, slow to getting back to unmuting my mic. <laughs> You've got a huge lag going on there. That's really yes, funny. Yes. <laughs> so thank you all for joining. May the blessings and wisdom of, of this day resonate with you for a while and may I remind you that you are you are divine. You the light within you is amazing. Everyone, I felt the energy of everyone here today, and everyone is so beautiful on the inside. 
it, it, it's it's my honor to be here amongst everyone and and to share in the joy. And I know that there's people out there that are watching, and I feel their energy too. It's it, it's such a blessing to be here. Thank you all. Namaste. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you again next week, next Saturday. Um, we think Jim's back, fingers crossed. Otherwise, we'll have some more beautiful channels for you next time. So, this has been Human Colonies, and it is the, oh, it's the 13th of June 2015, and we say goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Love, Love, everybody. Bye-bye.